so I was having a really rough morning this morning um, with my chronic fatigue. I have messaged a friend and I was wondering if she wanted my girlfriend. So um, I wanted to see if she wanted to meet up and go for a coffee. I am seeing her on Tuesday, but because we both have chronic fatigue syndrome, um, it there's a lot going on on Tuesday. And I just thought actually it'd be better to do it another day, so we thought we'd do it today. Um, so I'm about to go jump on the bus. Um, it's half one. We're meeting at half three, so. I, I'm going to be there a little bit early, but I don't mind because the bus is every hour, so um, yeah, it just works out perfectly. attention there until I say stop. Starting from now. Stop. Okay. <coughs> So yet again, I'm back in hospital. Yet again, I'm back in hospital. Um, I came for a life skills day, and I have ended up with being done in A&E because I've got an infection in my arm, and I've also got a very bad cough, which is slowly turning into a chest infection. So I'm staying the night tonight, um, but I'll update you when I know anything. happy about that and I've got toothpaste all over my face I'm, just really... I'm going home today yay I'm in the rec room just because I want to get away from everyone so yeah I'm going home later this afternoon um and then I'm just gonna sort of chill out because I'm on antibiotics and they're making me feel very so you probably can't see me very well but I am on my way home I'm in the back of a ambulance taxi thing um I could have got like a car home but I decided not to like yeah you can't really see me um but I'm on my way home and it was interesting I will update you tomorrow sorry I haven't been able to like film much today it's literally just been a bit crazy trying to sort things out and sort out what like the next steps and things um but I am on my way home I, I'm the last to be dropped off there's like three of us being picked up so they've just picked me up and we're picking someone else up just now and then picking someone else up straight after and then I'm the like third person to be and I'm the last person to be dropped off because I live the furthest away but yes so I will talk to you in the morning about everything that's been going on sort of and I'll do a complete update when I get home tomorrow probably after the physio and my dentist appointment which I will try and vlog. This is going to be a weekly vlog. So I'm hoping it's not too long either. I might end up splitting it into two, but I'm glad to be heading home. <clears throat> so I thought I would jump on here quickly. Obviously, I've been doing a weekly vlog this week, so I'm, I hope you have stuck around to watch what has got up to what I have got up to this week. It's been a bit of an eventful week. Um, I went up into London expecting to do one thing and ended up staying for a few days, but that's life. So. If you've been following me over on CFS with EJ, obviously the last video I put up on this channel was saying that I was in hospital. I have been in and out of hospital for the last month and a bit. 
Um, due to mental health, I'm not gonna lie, it has been rough. Mental health is something I have suffered with for a very long time. I think I've briefly mentioned that I have anxiety and depression. Um, I'm not gonna go into depth about what happens or bloody da, but I am getting the right support now. I ended up going to a unit. Now, obviously I'm not that ill that I needed to go to a unit, but I couldn't stay at UCLH. So they decided that the best thing for me was to go to a unit. For me, that was quite difficult. Um, and I ended up discharging myself. I became very unwell from being in the unit. So yes, but I am now back home. My skin has gone absolutely mental just from the stress of this month, I think as well. But I'm glad to be home. I've, they have put community support in place for me and hopefully things will improve a little bit. So yes, yeah, so today I have had physio and um, the dentist. The dentist was all good, the physio was all good. I have just been unpacking and sorting my room out. They have also prescribed these. I don't know if any of you guys have these yourself. These are like protein shakes and they've got all the nutrition and vitamins and stuff that I need. So I have the chocolate and the banana ones. Um, so I've got enough to last me a month right down here. Um, I'm on antibiotics. The reason I ended up going in, I don't know how much I explained. The reason I went in on Tuesday was due to um, an infection in my arm. But because of mental health reasons, they ended up keeping me in um, so they could sort it all out. Obviously, they knew that I discharged myself from the unit. Um, so they just wanted to keep me in and make sure that they sorted stuff out for the community so things were in place um, instead of having to go back into hospital. Because someone did say that I was jeopardising my rehabilitation up at UCLH and I don't want to jeopardise it. I think it's a great programme for my CFS and to do. So I am trying really, really hard to stay out of hospital now. So yeah, obviously I got home really late last night and this morning has been a bit go, go, go. I got out of bed very late and I was like, crap, I need to go and get on the bus. So I had to quickly whip on something and just get going. So yes, I'm not going to carry on rambling too much, but I am going to end the vlog here. I hope you have enjoyed watching what has, ha got on, what has happened this week. Give it a big thumbs up and I will see you later. Bye guys.